no less than a dime Sets my soul on fire And helps me unwind, yeah I'll be exploring Mombasa with you this month on a real, real budget. When I say real, I mean real, not um, extravagant, real, real budget. So um, let's explore this beautiful island together. Fun fact, I was primarily raised here in Mombasa. I was born in Nairobi, but I was primarily raised here in Mombasa. I hope you can hear my order from all the sounds and everything happening. Um, around me, I'm a bit uh, conscious of what I'm doing because people are staring at me and I'm going to make the best of it so let's go together the first place that I want to show you around and uh, help you see and help you uh, know and those who are planning to come here can visit is um, Pirates, Pirates Beach I'm starting with a common place everyone likes to come to that is the beach this so is a pirate's beach it's a public beach so no charges for entry and uh let's explain i can show you the various things you can do here from the various swimwear and uh and clothes you can buy to the various different activities on a real real budget i know most of you most guys have closed schools and uh people are coming to the coast from what we call Bara. This is from Nairobi, Naivasha and other areas of parts of Kenya. And even guys who are coming from abroad and coming to visit and you are just want to, to have the ordinary Kenyan Mombasa experience. This video, this video, aside from this one, there'll be another and another and another and another. This series of videos is for you. So come with me, let's explore. So these are the different shops. If you come here, and you don't have any swimming costume and you don't have any floaters they're all here at affordable prices you just have to know who to ask and then you can negotiate if you know how to negotiate like me <laughs> yeah, so even souvenirs from like uh, lessos and kangas to pretty 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 dresses um, you have a variety a variety of things you can get here even our flag lasso all those amazing things you can get here at a very very good price i know there's a place even for rentals but i wouldn't advise you to rent a swimming costume but they have a variety here of uh, you see dresses um, lassos everything everything so you don't even need to have it you can just come unprepared and you can get it from hey guys, here i found a lovely lady called faith and she's willing to tell us about her, her stuff here at pirates how much they cost and everything so when you come here you can look for her and she can sell for you her things and we are going to we are going to talk in kiswahili i'll put a translation there for those who don't understand so faith karibu karibu kwa channel yangu <laughs> yeah tuta mita tuambia hizi vitu za kozi unauza pesa ngapi nini ndio o wenye wanaangalia channel yangu wakikuja wa waku niku market si ndio sawa sawa acha tu acha nigeuze kama eh twanze eh na hii inaitwa machikichiki machikichiki eh hiyo aka kadres kamitano hiyo okay ya yellow ana pikonda ah mia saba hiyo james pia hiyo top la nini yake eh hiyo ni mia nane mia nane bei ya kuongea aba Hizi ndogo hapa. 200. Okay. Na hizi ya Costume. Costume ni 650 kuongea. Very beautiful. Hata mimi nikiwa na muda vizuri nitapitia uniozie. Oh, nice. Tight guys, tight. Mependa here, I love this Egyptian inspired tight. 250. Very nice. Ana t-shirt, ana zapata. Na sleeveless. Eh eh. Kama hii. Eh eh. 
Okay. Okay. So we will know that everything at Azile sees are swimming. Kila kitu Sawa, sawa. Sa, Santi Sana Faith. <laughs> I, so there you have it, guys. At least I got to have like, a short interview with uh, the darling called Faith. And oh, I'll get to wear my standards today. I feel so good. I bought these things for that trip I told you and that I did never got to attend it. But hey, 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 better things to come. Tattoo. Okay, normally I take a matatu from my place to town. That's around 50 bob. But there was an issue with matatus today. So I had to take a tuk tuk to town. I shared a tuk tuk. Uh, so I paid 100 shillings. Then from town to here, that was 80 bob. I took a matatu. 80 bob to here. So you can see it is a real, real budget. In terms of dollars, I have spent... Um, one almost two dollars short of two dollars and it would be actually cheaper i would spend around maybe um one 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 dollar from the house yeah you see i'm a tattoo so yeah so this is on a budget and this is a public beach sometimes it gets so so crowded but you can walk towards the other secluded beaches that are around here which uh, which uh, you won't pay a thing or you can go there's also another beach that i love close by it's called syrup there's no entrance to get in if you want to swim in the pool that's where you get to pay i think it's around 400 shillings for children and 600 shillings for adults but to go to the beach is also free so i'm looking for places where it's either cheap 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 or free for you guys because it's a long holiday like in kenya most children have like two months of holidays and parents want to travel and take the children to see their country kenya on a budget and also those coming from outside the country you might have a budget uh a budget to spend because traveling itself is expensive uh transport is expensive so when you get to where you're going you need something that is at least affordable and you need to have a very good um cultural in-depth ground 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 experience yes not those fancy you can do a fancy result anywhere and if you do have the money well and good but what i'm trying to do is take you around to see where um the normal normal monaichi in kenya would go and have a good time on a very very low next to nothing budget so. guys i'm getting into the main area of the beach we have some snacks outside here, some popcorn. We still have tuk tuks in case you want to get home. But this is the main area of the beach. So we're getting into it. So guys, you can see here some coconuts have been sold along the way. There's some snacks, some biazi, some mihogo. So guys, we're getting into the main area of the beach. It's quite deserted right now. Let me tell you, if you want something fancy, this is probably not for you. But if you are on a true, true budget, then this is definitely for you. Uh, the tide is quite low right now. So people are walking so, so far. You see? All that way. People can walk all yeah, they the rent way. The seats. I don't know how much they rent them for. But that's what they do. There's also a place for changing. And I hear... Um, it's maybe 50 baht. There's also, if you want to leave your luggage, if you're that um, adventurous, they also store it for you. Then you see their camels. You can go on the right. Yeah, at the beach. That is the camel there. And I know they usually also have space painting for children. They also go right. I believe when the tide is really high. Some boats are way over there. I'm going to try and ask about the prices. Oof. Check out this view behind me, guys. It's so pretty. And the breeze is just amazing. The breeze is just amazing. I would necessarily advise for you to leave your things somewhere here with strangers. I no, no, I wouldn't advise it. But if you needed to change, maybe you had got your costume up there. You can. Uh, you can pay to change and have a changing area that's if you're not from one of the hotels that is around there's some hotels where you can get in for free and then you can access the beach as well still so that is also another option a good example for me is Iraq because the entrance is, is free but we have white sands here we have we have so many beaches around depending on your pocket but i say i am here to show you on a 
are real real budget so getting into pirates accessing pirates itself is free if you're going to use cyrox cyrox also entrance is free you'll only pay if you want to swim at the swimming pool but coming into the beach is also free so you can access the beach through cyrox then come into the beach especially if pirates is full and the changing rooms are 50 i think the chairs are is it 50 or 20 also i guess depending i think they charge on an hourly rate then they have some floaters made of uh, it's old tires so they're basically recycling which i believe is a good thing you can also hire that i think they're for kids for 50 and for adults 100 shillings also i think charged by an hourly rate so good clean fun low affordable costing this is it for this vlog but there's many many more to come i've decided let me also go around this town that i live in this town that i was raised yeah, in right the right. events are there camel rides are 200 but you can negotiate there's a changing room if you need one for 50 shillings there's seats you can hire for 50 shillings there's face painting for kids you can negotiate there's hina painting for for yourself depending on the flower you can negotiate from as low as 50 shillings there's ice cream there's Biazi, there's uh, Mohoko, there's Crisps, Mabuyus, Coconuts, Madaku. Everything you want is here, all inclusive and very, very, very affordable. Like prices! <laughs> prices! Good, nice, clean yes. fun. This is what we'll be doing for November. I'll be taking you around Mombasa Island and showing you the various beautiful spots you can visit at very, very, very affordable prices. I've decided to explore this city with you, to explore this island with you, and let's have, see where we can have some good clean fun over this long holidays, guys. So keep a lookout for the next video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for all the new subbies. I love you. Thank you for your support. Let us help grow and support each other. Stay blessed. Ta-da!